What is happening guys? Welcome back to another armor guide. So today I'm going to show you where to get this awesome divine bird armor. I'd say this armor is the new type of crucible armor if I had to compare it to something from base game. A very cool looking armor. Uh, I love the armor itself except for the leg piece. I wish the leg pieces looked cooler than just, you know up to the knees with claws uh, but anyway the swords as well these are the same swords the honed warrior swords that you can farm early on in the game back at the small private altar uh, you can get those there i did a previous video on that these these are sadly the same swords they have the same ash of war uh, these are the swords that the divine birds use as well so sadly we don't get any new weapon with the divine bird but still a cool weapon that fits it nonetheless so to get this armor, you need to be in the end game. You need to have a near a limb unlocked. So and I would recommend going to a near a limb outer wall and we'll go from there. And this is the grace you get right after you bird the tree. So you can get it as soon as that. So from here, we're going to use a weapon with Endure on it. So any type of big strength weapon, if you're a dexterity user, maybe try Zoolander on this, but put Endure on it. So you'll want something that boosts your poise up. Another thing we'll want here definitely is the Axe Talisman. Make sure you have your Silver Scarab uh, on as well and also use your Silver Tear Mask as well. Uh, just to make sure you guys know what those are. I'm sure you do, but just in case, those are the things you should be using while you farm this. Help boost your Arcane up to have your Discovery up as well. Uh, but like I said, you'll need the Axe Talisman for this and a weapon with Endure. And in your Physic Flask, we're going to use Stone Barb Crack Tier, which temporarily makes Stance Break easier and Opaline Hard Tier, boost all damage negation. And we're going to go on up these stairs. We're going to have our flask ready to drink here right when we get up here. You could probably pop it at the Grace too. It probably doesn't matter all that much. We're going to pop it right here. And then we're going to run up. He's going to be waiting for us. He's going to run down the stairs waiting for us. We're going to run up here. He's going to throw some magic at us. We're going to press poise. or press endure. Try to get a couple, of, a couple of heavy attacks off here. If you can. He's going to try to stomp you. Just try to break your poise. If you can get him two times though with two heavies. You're going to crack him. And these guys don't have as much defense as the other horned warriors. So you'll be able to knock him out with a with a repost so that is all you have to do uh this armor actually did not come to uh, it came really quick actually the, the armor came fast I've, I've been able to farm the armor a few times now i've got one two three of these so it came pretty quick uh for the divine bird helm this one took a while i've only got this one once uh that that must be have a pretty rare drop rate on that the uh, gauntlets also too did not come the easiest the divine bird warrior gauntlets but yeah, all together, it's a pretty cool armor set. If you want to make this look even cooler, you could put, like, the, uh, crucible. Let's see here now. Maybe a tree sentinel armor? Yeah, put the tree sentinel armor legs on there. So if you want to look this, make this look really cool, put those on there. And even if, if you don't like having your hands show, I maybe would even put on, yeah, tree sentinel gauntlets. They go really well with this. So that's a just a way to make that look better. But hope this guide helped. If it did, give it a like, and we'll see you guys next time.